What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the $30 Arctic Air Evaporative Air Cooler. And this is a product which we all need, especially in the UK as it's so damn hot. Everyone I talk to, they're feeling hot. Even Big Shaq from the UK is finally feeling the heat. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, we're going to test out this Arctic Air Evaporative Personal Air Cooler and find out if it's a gimmick or whether it does in fact cool the air. So you can pick this up nearly everywhere for around $30. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with the user guide, a standard micro USB power cable and last but not least the Arctic Air mini cooler itself. Um, so first of all let's begin with the dimensions, 16.5 centimeters in width, it's 16.5 centimeters in length and, and in height it's 16.6 centimeters. So this is basically a 6.5 inch cube so there's no water in it and it weighs 960 grams. So this is made completely from plastic and on the front you have your main vent where the air is going to come out and cool you down. If we take this top part off you will see the filter. So this is the filter inside, this is how it's going to look. Um, that filter can be removed. So this is the filter basically, you can remove this. This filter will last up to six months and then you can get it replaced. That's what it looks inside, you've just got a simple fan. The concept is simple, you just pour water in the side. A little bit of that water at a time will fill up this bottom section and what happens? The water will basically soak this fabric and as the fan blows air towards you, you will get a nice cool breeze. So that's the concept. We will see if it actually works. So let's put it back in. So that's the filter back in. Seems like a very simple idea. So on the top of the unit we have a big power button and when you press it you'll get a ring of blue light going around it. You've got three power settings so that's on low, that's on medium and that's on the highest setting. You've also got a dedicated button for your light so when you do fill up the water and you press the light button you've got LED lights on the side. So by default that's the default color it's green but you can change the color to suit your mood and there's a few colors there to choose from um, a very nice touch on the top you've got your water compartment so inside there you can just fill up the water on the back you have another big vent and the fan spinning around now on this side there is a little bit of suction so hot air goes in from this side and then it will hit that filter with the water evaporate and give you nice cold air instantly and on this side you have a micro usb port which means you can plug this into any 5 volt usb port you can also run this off a power bank if you want so it makes this completely portable now the first test i want to do is noise here is my sound meter i will um, go through all three levels one two and three and we will test out the noise so we are on level one and we're going to test out the noise here we go Okay, level two. And finally, level three. If we push the unit away from us. So this unit operates fairly quietly, as you guys saw. So now it's time for the cooling test. Let's begin with filling the water up. Okay, so I'm ready to fill up water. So I've got a bottle of water here, it's uh, 50 cl, which is 500 ml, so let's fill it up. So that is just right, you don't want to fill it up more than that. Bottle of mineral water, 50 cl or 500 ml will do the trick perfectly fine. So it says in the instructions we should wait a minute or two so the water actually goes through the system before you switch it on. So while we wait for that, so here is my new digital thermometer. So this is the room temperature right now, 31.2 degrees Celsius, but I will change that to Fahrenheit. So you can see 31.1 Celsius. So that's 88 Fahrenheit and you can see the humidity levels at the bottom. And basically I have no fan on right now, so I am sweating. Um, it is definitely hot in this office. I turned all the fans and all the cooling off so I can make this video as the thermometer will not lie to you. 31.2 celsius or 88 degrees fahrenheit it's hot in here so i'm going to leave that set on fahrenheit 
So we've got the temperature ready, we're ready to turn this on. But before we begin, this is actually a personal air cooler. It is not designed to cool the entire room. This will only cool your personal space. It's supposed to drop the temperature down a few degrees in your personal space where you're sitting, working or even sleeping. So let's begin. Switching on now, I'm going to put it on highest temperature and we're going to go with blue lights. Oh, that's nice and cool. So I'm sitting right in front of the cooler and it is definitely quite cool air coming out. I'm keeping an eye on the temperature. It's on 88.3. We want to see if it's going to drop down. Okay, we've got a stopwatch right between there. It's been a minute and 15 seconds counting. So I'm going to let this video run for 30 minutes and we're going to see if this temperature drops at all or not. So let's see what happens. Okay, so that's your result, 85.3 Fahrenheit. So that has dropped a couple of degrees. So we started at 88.3, this has dropped three degrees in temperature. I will change it to Celsius so you can see. You can see that it's dropped to 29 degrees Celsius. This is definitely not gonna cool your entire room exactly as the product described. So the water level was around here. 30 minutes later, it's gone down to there. So, so we know the unit is working absolutely fine. Um, I personally feel very nice and cool right now. Um, when I started the video, I was sweating. It was 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So working on my desk with this in front of me, it's actually doing a very good job in cooling me down. Okay, so I am gonna test this with a power bank now. So here is my power bank. So plug the USB in. So this is now being powered by the power bank. And as you can see, it works absolutely fine. So this now makes this device completely portable. You can take it anywhere you like and plug it into a power bank and that is gonna last a very long time. We're talking hours and hours. So there you have it guys. That was the new Arctic Air Evaporative Air Cooler. So I've seen this cooler on the web on various different websites and I had to pick one up to test and we have done a very thorough test. Now this product definitely does what it should. It provides an instant refreshing cool air directly at you covering your immediate space. So if you had this in your office it will cool you down without bothering your colleague next to you. So it's a very personal space cooler and I like it. It's perfect for your work, car, bedroom, living room. You can use it just about anywhere. I have it on my desk and it's definitely more efficient to use than a fan or an air conditioner you can even run it off a power bank meanwhile the included filter will last up to six months and cost around ten dollars to replace now here is a tip drop a few ice cubes in and you will have yourself an ice cold portable air conditioner type of effect incredible arctic cooler for only thirty dollars and with that being said i'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out that's all for this video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.